to the Hundred Dollar MBA Show. The best ten minutes of your day starts right now with today's ten minute business lesson for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of the Hundred Dollar MBA, a complete business training and community online. And in today's lesson, you will learn: Should you own a franchise? Owning a franchise business can seem like a good idea. In a lot of ways, it looks like a safe choice. And in today's lesson, I'm going to outline some of the advantages as well as some of the disadvantages of owning a franchise business. I'll also give my personal opinion if I recommend you open a franchise business. This is a topic that I know a lot of you have been waiting for. So let's get into it. Let's get down to business. episode of the $100 BA show is sponsored by Braintree. If you're working on a mobile app and searching for a simple payment solution, check out Braintree. With one simple integration, you can offer your customers every way to pay, period. To learn more and for your first $50,000 in transactions fee-free, go to braintreepayments.com slash MBA. That's braintreepayments.com slash MBA. Owning a franchise business is like buying your own job. Let me explain what I mean. There are pros and cons to having an independent business, like a startup business like ours, and buying a franchise business, like opening up a Subway restaurant or an anytime fitness gym. The first thing you need to understand is that when you start a franchise business, you buy one. Let's go with Subway, for example. It's the fastest growing franchise business ever, actually. There is a startup cost. You can't just start one with very little capital. To start a subway, you're going to need $265,000. And the average startup cost for a new business, not a franchise, so for example, like your own cupcake shop, the average is only around $10,000. I know that sounds kind of low, but that's across all of the U.S. Now, you might be asking, why is the franchise so expensive to start up? Well, there are something called franchise fees, Subway is a corporation, and they want to make sure that all their subways are successful. So there's certain things they put into place that cost money, and they require that of all their franchise owners to have. That includes signage and the way the actual store is fitted out, as well as all the materials they use from the napkins to their wrappers to their bags to everything. Plus, there's royalties that you have to pay to Subway because you're using their brand. They're marketing for you on TV and all that stuff. So right out of the gate, if you don't have a quarter million dollars, you probably are going to have a hard time starting a franchise. Of course, you could take out a loan if you'd like, but I personally would not recommend that. Now, I'm going to continue and go through some cons of a franchise business, but then I'm going to move on to some pros. One, you don't have flexibility time like having your own business. You can build your business around your own schedule. You also don't have the freedom to choose the products and services you want to offer. With a franchise business, you have to follow the rules of the franchise. I can't sell lobster at Subway. I can't sell lasagna at McDonald's if I have a McDonald's franchise. I have to go along with the menu. Now, for a lot of people, that doesn't really matter. They just kind of want to have a business on their hands. But for some, it does. For some people, they don't want to sell certain products. They don't believe in those products. Another con when it comes to a franchise business is that the corporation, like Subway in this example, has control over a lot of things in your business, including your operating system, the systems you have in place. You can't change the way you run things in your business to a greater degree because there are systems that they enforce. And of course, with a franchise business, profitability is kind of limited. It's not the sky's the limit because pricing is not controlled by you. But let's get into some of the pros of a franchise business. One, you have a detailed marketing plan. They give you all the resources you need so you can market your brand properly. And they do all the marketing for you because they have brand awareness campaigns on TV, billboards, radio commercials. And if we're going to go with this example of Subway, they do a lot of this. And that's why their franchise fee is quite high. They have an established system of operation as well. So if you have questions about how am I supposed to ring up a customer, what kind of systems should I use on my computers, they give you all that. They also have a great training program. Most franchises have a great training program because they want to see you succeed because when you succeed, they succeed. Also with franchises, you're buying things in bulk and you get discounts. So you have that bulk buying power. 
It's also very clear cut what you have to do in a franchise business. They actually outline exactly how many hours you have to work, and it's usually a lot less hours than if you started your own business yourself. Of course, there's exceptions, but franchises have certain hours you have to close down. So overall, the benefits of having a franchise business is that there's structure in place. Everything is there for you to be uh, pretty successful. They give you all the tools you need. But the cons or the negatives of a franchise business is that you need a lot of money up front as well as you don't have the flexibility to create something for yourself. But it is a business. You are a business person. Now that we've kind of covered the pros and cons of a franchise business, I want to let you know that not all franchise businesses are created equal. And I included a great article that was in Forbes that talks about the best and worst franchises and why. And you can check that on today's show notes. If you're on your iPhone, just click on the cover art. If you're on your computer, just go to 100mba.net slash mba333. And in the article, it shows you your initial investment, how much you need to spend on these franchises, as well as how each one is doing. And there's different types of franchise businesses, from restaurants to gyms to hotels, like Doubletree Hotels. It's one of the best franchises that you can buy. But you might be surprised when you take a look at some of the worst franchises you could buy. And there's some pretty well-known names. So take a look at that article if you're looking into buying a franchise business. I promised you I would give you my honest opinion if I think starting a franchise business is a good idea. But before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, Mile IQ. Mile IQ is a must-have app for every entrepreneur. Driving for work is a double-edged sword. Either you're spending too much money tracking every mile or you're guesstimating and ending up losing money. And even then, your estimate falls about 20% short of what you could be deducting. Welcome to Mile IQ, the gold standard in mile tracking. Mile IQ is the only mile tracker that detects, logs, and calculates your drive for you automatically. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to launch the app or anything. Mile IQ is easy to use and keeps all of your drives securely stored in the cloud. I have Mile IQ on my phone. I've used it. It's super easy to use. I absolutely love it. If you drive for work and you're not counting every single mile, then you're burning money every time you turn on the ignition. Mile IQ does all the work for you so you can focus on what's important, your business. And that's why they have a five-star rating in both the Google Play and iTunes app stores. That's huge. Stop wasting time manually tracking your miles and stop losing money when you should be redeeming. Try Mile IQ for free today by texting MBA to 89800. There's no charge for the text and it's completely secure. That's MBA to 89800. Let me wrap up this lesson with my personal opinion when it comes to opening and starting a franchise business. First of all, having a franchise business is not the worst idea in the world. There are a lot of people that are successful in business and they're doing something they enjoy because they enjoy that product, they enjoy that service, and they're running a franchise business. Some people just need a little bit of structure and they need a little bit of guidance, and a franchise business provides that. So I'm not one to say that this is a horrible idea and it's not for anybody. It is for people that want structure and want something that's something between a full-time job and a startup business where they have to create everything from scratch. But my preference, my personal preference, is to start something of my own. I could start with the amount of money that I have, and I can grow slowly. With a lot of franchises, you can't grow at the speed that you'd like. For example, if you wanted to open a Dunkin' Donuts restaurant, you can't just open one. Many of the franchises ask you to open many stores within a certain amount of years. So you'd have to have 10 stores within five years, for example. So growth is very important to that franchise. With your own business, you can grow your own pace, and I like that. I also like to control my pricing. I like to control my products. And that's my personal preference because that matches what I want out of a business. I also get to make up my own rules. I don't have to follow any rules that I don't believe in. So for those reasons, that's why I wouldn't personally start a franchise business. But I don't want to discount it completely because it might be right for you. All right, everybody, that wraps up today's lesson. Remember, guys, we would love to hear you in an iTunes rating and review. Everybody who leaves us an iTunes rating and review enters our weekly random draw to win a lifetime membership to the $100 MBA training and community. That's over 180 video lessons, interviews with experts, workbooks, our whole community forum and Facebook group, and a whole lot more. If you're on your iPhone, just tap on the cover art and click on the link that says give us a rating and a review. If you're on your computer or any browser, just go to 100mba.net slash show. 
Here's a review from a listener. Their handle on iTunes is OKFitzGeezer. They say daily kickstart, five stars. Every day I start my gym routine with the $100 MBA and the stationary bike. It gives me a quick dose of ideas that help start my day to have great possibilities. Thank you so much for that great review. And thank you all for showing your support with an iTunes rating and review. All right, listeners, I want to leave you with this. I mentioned that Subway costs a little over a quarter million dollars to start. But there are franchises that have a lower startup cost, more closer to the sixty to $70,000 range. But that's still a lot of money to put up front for a new business. And if that's something that you don't want to do, you don't want to take that risk or maybe sacrifice that kind of cash up front, it doesn't mean your business hopes are over. You can start something small for yourself, even if that's a brick and mortar business. Renting out a storefront, it's not going to cost you too much up front. First month and last month deposit, you're looking at ten dollars or $15,000 with payroll and fitting it out and you know getting all the furniture in there. You can get started for maybe half that price, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. And if you're in a physical market that there is no real competition, then your own business and your own brand might be the way to go. The point is the choice is yours. That's the beauty of business. You make your own choices. All right, everybody. I hope that helps and I hope to see you in tomorrow's episode. I'll see you then. Take care. Take care.